I found this triplet tube tester at the Raleigh Flea Market last Saturday. It's got the triplet manual with it along with some advertisement. And here's a closer look. You can see that the plastic has been scratched a little bit, but I thought it would clean up nicely. I used Santa Wax to clean the tube tester and Novus to polish the plastic and both did a very good job. And this tube tester does work. Okay, I'm gonna test this tube here, the 6AT6. So the first thing you do is I'm gonna find that line. I think there's three for this tube. 6A There we go. Yeah, there's a couple right here. I'm only gonna test this one. Turn this on. Bring that up to calibrate. Okay, and this says J, so a little bit of the cloth left over from polishing, there we go, J, then one is D for down, down, up, down, 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 and looks like that's it. Let me double check. Down, 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 up, down, down. Okay. And this one is on seven. And this is on 47. Okay, that'd be Right in the middle would be 45, 46, that'd be 47 right there. Okay. Let me plug the tube in. Let's see here. There we go. I'll take a look at the means that there's a filament there and I can go through the leakage here okay let's see tube should be warmed up by now Looks pretty good. This tube tester will test tubes from the late 40s, 1950s, and 60s. I've had questions about what tube tester should I buy. Well, it depends on the tubes that you have. For instance, this tube tester does not have a four pin socket, so it will not test an 80 rectifier tube and tubes from the 1920s. So find out what tubes you do have in your radios. And if there's a tube tester you're interested in buying, message the seller of that tube tester and ask them if these tubes that you have are on the list on that tube tester. Thanks for watching.